Hi class, good day. So for today's video, we're going to ta talk about fraction. So before we proceed to operations of fractions, it is important to know the different kinds of fraction. Okay, so alamin mo natin yung iba't ibang klase ng fraction at kung ano nga ba yung fraction. So fraction, kapag sinabi natin yung fraction, it is part of a whole or parte siya ng kabuuan. Kung kunyari, yung isang buong piso, kapag binawasan mo siya, so, fraction na nangyayari doon. Alright? So, there are parts of fraction. So, yung itsura ng fraction, ganito. Example, sa A over B. Okay? So, itong si A, sa taas, siya yung numerator. Siya yung tinatawag natin numerator. And then, itong sa baba, siya yung tinatawag natin denominator. Okay? So, class, hindi palaging A yung nasa taas, hindi palaging B yung nasa baba. This is just an example of how fraction looks like, okay? Basta yung nasa taas, yung numerator, and then yung nasa baba, siya yung denominator, right? So, meron mga kinds of fraction. Yung una, tinatawag natin proper fraction. Yan, proper fraction. So, si proper fraction, kapag yung numerator ay mas mababa compare sa denominator, or mas less yung nasa taas compared dun sa number sa iba ba. For example, we have 1 half. So, si 1, mas less siya or mas mababa siya compared kay 2 na denominator, right? So, another example is 1 fourth. Another example is 2 fifth. So, kung napansin nyo, yung numerator natin is less compared kay denominator. Yun yung tinatawag natin proper fraction. Another kind of fraction is improper fraction. So, sa improper fraction naman, yung numerator naman ang mas mataas or mas, um, mas greater, okay? greater than the denominator. So, for example, we have 13 over 2. Another one is 17 over 5. So, si 13 mas mataas kay 2. Then, si 17, ang numerator mas mataas sa 5 na denominator. Right? So, next is mixed fraction. So, we're going mixed fraction. Ayan. So, mixed fraction naman, or mixed number, siya yung fraction na mayroong whole number. For example, 3 and 1 half. Ganyan yung mixed fraction. Another example is 5 and 3 eighths. So, yan yung mixed fraction. Alright? So, take note class, this mixed fraction Yung kasama ng whole number ay proper fraction yan. Okay? Ibig sabihin, mas maliit yung nasa numerator. Okay? So, next one is similar fraction. Ano yung tinatawag natin similar fraction? Similar fraction, yung a fraction which has the same denominator. Ibig sabihin, um, yung fraction na we're talking about not just one fraction, but more than one fraction. Alright? So, we're, parang... We are comparing, okay? At yung similar fraction, mayroon siyang parehong denominator. Parehong denominator. So, for example, 4 over 7 and 3 over 7, sila ay similar fraction, right? Si 4 over 7 at si 3 over 7, sila ay similar fraction dahil mayroon silang parehong denominator, which is... 7, right? Another example, we have 10 over 15 and 5 over 15. So, say 10 over 15 at 5 over 15 a similar fraction dahil meron silang parehas na denominator which is 15. Okay? So, ulitin ko, similar fraction ay yung fraction na mayroong parehong denominator. Alright? Next one is the similar fraction. So, yung similar fraction, parehas ng denominator, si so, the similar fraction naman ay fraction na mayroong different denominator or hindi pareho ang kanilang denominator. Regardless kung proper fraction ba siya or improper fraction. So, for example, we have 1 third and 2 fifth. So, itong dalawang fraction na ito, ay dissimilar fraction. Bakit? Dahil hindi pareho ang kanilang denominator. 
Okay? So, another example is 2 third and 10 over 8. So, itong dalawang fraction nito ay dissimilar fraction dahil hindi pareho ang kanilang denominator. So, kapag yung dalawang fraction, hindi parehas ng denominator, sila ay dissimilar fraction. Yung fraction na kapag parehas ng denominator, either two fractions or more than two fractions, kapag parehas sila ng denominator, yun ay tinatawag na similar fraction. Right? So, sa equivalent fraction naman ay kapag yung fraction ay equal. Example, 1 over 10 is equal to 2 over 20. So, paano siya naging equal? Simply lang, if we're going to cross multiply this one, so 10 times 2, we have 20. 1 times 2, we have 20. So, 20 is equal to 20, alright? Or pwede rin ito, i-reduce natin to lowest term, divide natin siya both sides ng 20, ay ng 2, so magiging 1 over 10 siya. So, therefore, equal sila or equivalent sila. Another 2 over 10 is equal to 4 over 20. So, pag cross multiply natin yan, we have 40 over, or when 40 is equal to 40. Right? So, again, ulitin ko, si proper fraction, siya yung fraction na yung numerator ay mas mababa kumpara sa denominator. So, yung proper fraction naman, siya yung fraction na yung numerator ay mas mataas or mas malaki kumpara sa kanyang denominator. And si mixed fraction, siya yung fraction na mayroong whole number. Gaya nito. Okay? Then, si similar fraction, sila yung fractions na mayroong parehas na denominator. Okay? Pag si dissimilar fraction naman, sila yung fraction na mayroong um, unlike denominator or hindi sila parehas ng denominator. Then, equivalent fraction sila yung equal. Okay? So, that's all for today, class. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so that you will be notified on our next lesson. Thank you!